Hey art friends, it's Miss Peppers coming to you from my remote artist studio, aka my house. I hope this video finds you and your family well. And because we are all trying to stay safe and healthy and at home learning during this time, I'm gonna try to provide you and your families with some art activities using things that you might already have laying around your house. So today we are going to try raised salt paintings. This is something that will be fun for the whole family. Let's get started. So the supplies that you will need for your raised salt painting are iodized salt, glue, paint brushes, paper, and you can either use, we don't have liquid watercolors at our house and you probably don't either, you may or may not. Um, you can use regular watercolors or if you have food coloring that your mom wants to let you borrow for your art project, you can just add a few drops of food coloring to a very small amount. I'm using these little medicine things for measurement about one, one and a half to two teaspoons and maybe five or six drops of food coloring uh, for your color to add after uh, you start your salt and glue drawing. So here we go. So what you're gonna do to get started with your raised salt painting is first you're going to draw your design with glue. Once you have drawn your design onto your paper with your glue, you're now ready to sprinkle the salt onto the glue. Once you think it's reached all of the areas that you have glued, you can pick up your paper and shake it off so that the excess falls to the side and now you're left with your glue with salt stuck on the surface of your glue. So lastly, you're ready to add the color to the salt. So I like to start with my lightest colors first and you're just going to barely touch the area where there's a raised salt with, with glue and it spreads very quickly. I'm going to add some blue. So I touch different areas and you kind of watch it swim together. So it's bleeding. It's going to bleed together just like if you're doing your wet on the head. All right, so we've been doing this for a while. We have a couple done that are finished and drying on white paper. Now I wanted to experiment with uh, different colored paper and using the regular watercolors. So I've used, I've chosen orange paper. I already have put glue for my glue design, sprinkled it with salt and started with some black. So if the liquid, if your watercolors, your non-liquid watercolors that are in cakes or dry, I would give it a good 15 stirs with a full watercolor brush uh, full of water. So stir about 15 times to activate that color and then tap, spread it out and look, it works just the same. It just, it, it works just as good. Uh, I'll use some blue, that's a nice dark color. And it still swims, the color looks good. So I like to try things many different ways because there's, there's many ways to do a task and experimenting is just figuring out what works best for you. Yeah, the food coloring does work a lot better. Watch how much faster it spreads because it's already in a complete liquid form and actually the color is more pure and vivid. So yeah, I vote the food coloring first. Thanks for creating with me today. See you soon. 